On to the main, posh fish and chips. The only thing posh about these fish and chips will be the lady that's cooked them. The lady is not for turning or cooking. I've never actually boiled potatoes before. Time to broaden your horizons. Posh fish, I don't think it would be your traditional haddock or cod. I think it might be a sea bass. Go to the top of the class. OK. I didn't know they were going to come with the skin on. Well, it's traditional, I'm afraid. The posh fish gets smothered in olive oil. And then we're going to season it with some salt and pepper and then leave it for a few hours, turning occasionally. Oh, yeah, that'll make all the difference. I want to see what a, a posh fish and chip <laughs> look like. Well, for one thing, you get a side of salsa. Even though I'm struggling with every aspect of this prep, the one thing I can handle as a millennial is an avocado, so we have no issues here. Well, that's a first for today. Joining the avocados, some mango, cherry tomatoes, a splash of olive oil, and finally some lemon juice. Let the salsa commence. That's pretty chunky. I think salsa's not meant to be that chunky. You know what, if I ruin my potatoes, this can be the side. <laughs> On that note, let's suss out your spuds. I don't know if I've overcooked them because I don't know what overcooked means. But it took them ages to get soft, so I don't think it's my fault if they are overcooked. It's certainly not my fault. Maybe they're just really rubbish potatoes. Madness. Yes, that'll be it. So, for anyone wondering, that's what posh chips look like. <laughs> it's the final night in and around Edinburgh. Yeah! is hoping that her hosting skills will outweigh her lack of culinary prowess to enable her to snatch the thousand-pound prize. This is my mango and avocado <laughs> salsa. I literally chopped that avocado about an hour ago and it looks like it's died. My condolences. Presentation is king. Looks like we're heading for a food republic then. There's not a lot on the plate, is there? I'd say that looks like more than enough. And I'm happy that it's just all over with. <laughs> it's done. Unfortunately, it's just beginning. What do they do in the posh restaurants like this? They're like... <laughs> Which one looks the worst? Well, at this point, it's very hard to say. Here it is. Posh fish and chips, allegedly. Because... Oh, thank is that... you. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry, yours is on the way. There you go. All your dreams have come true. Um, <laughs> El, this needs a prayer. I'd <laughs> love to pray. <laughs> Please pray. 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 Dear Lord, we thank you for. <laughs> that was just carnage on a plate. It was like avocado, potatoes. Chorizo. What on earth happened to the chips? So this is my fish and chips. <laughs> Have a drink of my Prosecco, darling. <laughs> Everything in that main course had seen better days. Your fish is very sweet. It's very beautiful. And how does it taste? It tastes very sweet and very beautiful. <laughs> oh. Everything, to me, is nice. Oh, thank you. Quick question, though. Is the tartar sauce homemade? Um, I wanted to make it homemade, <laughs> but I, did you notice, well, you all digged into it so quickly because you were so excited about trying my food, I actually did it in the posh style that the restaurant people do with the, swap, with the curl. Did anyone notice that? Oh, Aww. bless. That's so sweet. Yeah, lovely. When Maz brought the main course, she was a bit embarrassed serving it, but actually, I thought it was great. I've never had sea bass before, mm -hmm. and it tastes really nice, and mm -hmm. your dish tastes better than it looks. Oh, do you not think it looked nice? Um, um, <laughs> That'll be a no. We were all really expecting quite a lot out of Maz. Let's not pretend that we were not. The main course, I've got an idea. So Your main, my dessert, <laughs> winning menu. <laughs> we should have been on this couple's competition. <laughs> we would have nailed it. 
<laughs> My main course went really, really well. Two f people finished their whole plates. Um, it was colourful, they liked it, and it, it was a conversation starter, so what more could you want? Thank <laughs> you.